Hi, it's Paul Tay here at Your Property Financial, and welcome to this short video where we're going to look into the main documents you need to provide when you're looking to be pre approved for a mortgage. Your key documents are always reviewed up front, and the main reason for this is to make sure that we provide you with the most accurate information on the mortgage options that are available to you. Mortgage lenders will only base their decision to lend you new based on your supporting documentation, so it's crucial that this is reviewed as soon as possible to make sure that we are providing you with the most accurate mortgage terms available to you and so we can confirm things like how much you can borrow, monthly payments and rates available. In this short video we're going to cover each of the main documents you'll need to provide and in what format to make sure you have all the correct documentation when it comes to getting your mortgage approved. Proof of identity. Proof of identity documents are 99% of the time going to be either your passport or your driving license. Passport. Your passport should be in date and provided in a clear colour photo or scan. Please note the whole double page on the photo section needs to be visible and no papers, reflections or fingers should be covering your passport numbers or photo. Driving licence. Your driving licence is the other acceptable proof of identity document. Please note provisional driving licences or the old style paper driving license are not acceptable. The license should be in date and you'll need to take a colour photo or scan of the front and the back of the driving license. If your address is incorrect on your driving license, firstly highlight this with your mortgage broker to discuss next steps. Potentially you will need to arrange to have this updated. If you're unable to scan a copy, a clear photo of the document is acceptable, but ensure these are taken in good light with no shadows or reflections and on a clear level surface. The picture should be taken close enough that more or less the whole photo is just the passport or driving license when none of the edges of the document missing. Proof of residency. If you are a non-UK national applying for a mortgage, you will need to provide evidence of your right to reside within the United Kingdom. Typically, this can be evidenced if you're an EU national by your share code, which will be able to provide confirmation of your pre-settled or settled status. If you're a non-EU national, typically a copy of your visa card will be sufficient to confirm the type of visa that you're on, the length of time remaining on that visa, and confirmation of your settlement status. In all instances, if you're unsure, please speak to your mortgage broker who will be able to provide further information on the documentation to provide. Proof of address. Proof of address can be evidenced from a number of different documents, but will mainly fall into the following as the most readily available. A key point around proof of address documentation is that it must be dated within the last three months. Outside of this time frame, it will not be acceptable. Bank statements. Bank statements showing your full name and address is usually your easiest proof of address document to provide. A frequent mistake when providing bank statements is to accidentally provide your transaction list statement. What's the difference? Your bank statement will always have your name and address and account number showing. Your transaction list will literally just show your monthly payments with your name and address not showing. Your bank statements can always be downloaded from your online banking. Utility bills can also be used for proof of address and the bills acceptable to use are only the gas, electricity and water bill. These are generated monthly typically for all households and again must be dated within the last three months. Your latest financial year council tax bill can also be accepted for a longer period of time and can be an option when the others are unavailable. For the avoidance of doubt, mobile phone bills, broadband and catalogue bills are not acceptable. Proof of income. If you're employed, this will be your latest three to four months payslips. Your payslips can sometimes have your address showing, so always ensure this is showing your most up-to-date address. If it is not, ask your HR department to update immediately, as lenders will often delay your application and ask questions if they notice this. Your P60 is usually sent to you every year, around April and May, and will show your total taxable earnings for all that year from your employed sources. Self-employed income evidence. If you're self-employed, your key documents to evidence income will usually be a combination of the following. For a sole trader, your latest two years tax calculations and latest two years tax year overview documents. If, it's, if you're a limited company director, then it'll be the latest two years tax calculations, latest two years tax year overview documents and the latest two years company's accounts. Your tax return is not used to evidence your income and unless requested, you don't need to provide this. If you're unsure of how to obtain these documents when you're self-employed in the first instance, simply ask your accountant and they will be able to provide these promptly to you. If you complete your own taxes, you may need to contact the government directly via HMRC. Proof of deposit. Proof of deposit requests typically relate to when you're using some element of savings from a bank account. 
Evidencing your savings in your bank account can be as easy as just downloading a statement from your online banking showing the account and the balance. However, sometimes issues can arise if you're using online savings accounts, which you've naturally been using to get the best interest you can, uh, but they don't provide a monthly or on-demand statement. Sometimes what you can obtain doesn't show your name or address. If this type of a scenario occurs, speak to your mortgage broker and they will be able to help you understand your options to evidence your deposit. Deposit can also come from existing property, equity or a gift from family. If this is the case, your mortgage broker will help you with evidencing this and will let you know the documentation required. If you're ever unsure of what to provide, always reach out to your mortgage broker who can help you with this. Thanks for watching and if you found this video useful, please like and if you have any questions, comment below and hit the subscribe button so you don't miss out on our next episode.